Time to beat still belongs to Sam Quant. Four minutes, 34.75 seconds out of heat number one. Only two men have gone to sub five. It's Quant and Bronislaw Alenkowicz in the prior heat. And there's something about this being in the later heats is that you get to see what it takes to win the test. So now you can formulate some pacing based off that. All right, I know my time is 434 at halfway. He was at 227. Okay, what pace do I need to row or ski to get off at, say, 115? How fast do I need to do my sets of five squats to get at 227? You start to utilize what other athletes are doing to help formulate your test plan. Moritz Fiebig right now is two-thirds of the way through that 30-calorie ski. There's Lazar Jukic. Jukic coming in in 19th place overall. Speaking of pace, Quant was off the ski at 105, and Fiebig, there he is. Now, if you go back to the first time Moritz came on the scene, it was the final event of the 2021 Lowlands Throwdown, where he totally sent a test very similar as far as intensity to this one. Now all the athletes are done with their first 30 calorie ski. And FIBA got hit with a no rep to start, but he is the leader right in the middle of the floor. And now at the far end, both Colton Mertens and Lazar Dukic moving forward. Here comes Pat Fellner as well. Now this is a tale of two movements for Colton Mertens, who's up there in lane number two. Smallest athlete in the field, skier, not an advantage, but the dude can squat. Not only is he quick, but he's strong. And listen, range of motion with squats is a benefit if you're a little smaller. And here comes Colton Mertens. Colton Mertens has moved into second place behind Moritz Fiebig at the 60 rep mark. They will move to the second ski. This time it's only 20 calories. So Mertens putting some pressure on Moritz Fiebig. The two of them have the same amount of reps. Here comes Pat Vellner now in third. He and Lazar Jukic battling for that position. Now the benefit for Colton coming in the second half of this test is that he was behind on a 30 cal ski. Those athletes who are better at the ski are gonna lose their advantage they have on him in the 20. And Colton Mertens is the first man back to the ski. Here comes Moritz Fiebig in second. Mertens getting right to work. Here comes Pat Vellner and now Justin Medeiros. But look how hard Mertens is cranking on it. Here's what I like to see here. Mertens keeping his legs relatively straight, not blowing up the quads, and just using that upper body, driving the chest down, using his triceps, because he's going to save his legs as much as he can for the last set of 20. Mertens now 10 calories to go. Pat Vellner has moved into second place ahead of Fiebig, and now Justin Madera sits in fourth. Yellow Hosta moving into the top five. So Fiebig's pace a lot slower than he had on the first 30. He might have gone a little too fast in the very beginning. Merton's three final calories here. He's going to be tough to catch. And Merton's is done. Velder looking to be the next man off the ski. And there goes Pat Velder. He has 20 squats remaining. Velder's had an up and down competition so far. A 27th and back to back sixth place finishes, and then 27th in the Alpaca as Colton Mertens has 15 reps to go. Fiving has failed to clean on the sandbag. 434.75 seconds is the time to beat. Mertens has got a shot at that. Velder in second now. Jemma Hosta has moved into third ahead of Justin Medeiros. And now final five for Colton Mertens. If Mertens can get this, they're going to blow the roof off in the Coliseum. Mertens is in, and he is your new leader. Muscle hamster madness. Well, Velder and Hosta are tied. Hosta's at the bottom of your screen. Velder's in the white shorts. And Madaris sneaks across. So Justin Madaris edging out Velder 
And we'll have to see where Hosta finished. But Justin Medeiros advanced just enough into that final section. And he's going to take second in the heat and second in the test right now as he edged out Sam Quant's prior best time. Now, the one, one thing for Justin, though, is what he doesn't normally do, John, is to win tests. If Justin wants a shot at podium, he's going to have to win tests. And Noah Olsen is in. Well, I think Medeiros did complete all the work. He just didn't advance in it on that final five. He did 10 in one spot. They're supposed to move forward every five reps. You take a look at Uldis Upnix, who's just trying to get a couple more reps before that six-minute time cap hits. But Justin Medeiros, another solid result. Back to the athlete we're used to seeing. Colton Mertens right now, the best time at 430.60 seconds.